Hello? He uh, uh, hello, everyone! Hi! I, I, I cut the music a little early, but, um, welcome to the, to the, uh, It's Lazita News broadcast. Uh, uh, hello! Welcome! Uh, this is, this is a live broadcast, uh, where we're gonna be reporting on all sorts of things and, and talking about going into the new year. Are we all excited to be here? We have, we have live, live chat. Live chat on the screen. We're gonna be reporting on that as the, as the news station goes forward, but... Uh, hello! It's been, it's been a long time. We haven't been broadcasting, uh, for a whole week. Have not been, no broadcast for a week. It's been a good long break, but, uh, we're finally back, and, uh, we've got lots of news. Lots of news, lots of things that's happened, uh, over the past, over the past week. It's about to be 2023. Can we, are we excited? Is everyone excited for 2023? Can we get some hype going? We're not, we're not gonna have another 2020 again, all right? We're not gonna have one of those. You know, 2022 was okay. Can we get some, let's get some hype. Come on, guys. Come on. Uh, let's get excited. I'm not, I'm not, no one's excited. Okay. Well, this just in, no one's excited for the New Year's. Pra practically no one, it, it seems. I mean, no, not really. Uh, really, Rayleigh really says, not really, but it's fine. Uh, Nicole says, no, I'm not excited. And then we have, we have Nola as well, also not exited. Uh, some, some people don't watch their, their grammar very well, but you know, we, we're, we're all, we're all not too excited. Why, why are we not excited, chat? What, what's not exciting about going into 2023, you know? It's, it's, it's a, it's a great time for New Year's resolutions. Getting out there, you know, getting, getting back on, you know, maybe a little weight loss, a little working out. Maybe, we, maybe we, you know, we go into the new year, we're like, you know what, this year, I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a, a bus driver. And then you get out, you get out there, you get your bus license bus license and and you get out there and you start you start driving you start driving the bus it's a, it's a new year new people come on let's let's report a little bit let's talk what is what is the live studio chat audience uh ha, what do you, what are you guys new year's resolutions going into 2023 i mean we're only a, a few days away today's december 29th that's 30th 31st and january 1st that's three days away from 2023 what do we think boys what do we think what, what i mean what, what's our new year's resolutions let, let, let me let me read. Mr. Legman report on the news. Absolutely. Lasky says hello, 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 Lasky. Yeah, it is Robert. Um, okay. How can you be so excited for something that has happened two thousand and twenty-two times? Well, you know what they say, Den. Traditions last as long as people allow, and I'm as long as I exist. And and no, everyone. If there's if there's one person in the world that's still looking forward to a New Year's resolution. That means they still exist and the tradition will live on. So lose a little weight, maybe? Oh, yeah? Okay. Okay, yeah, you guys hear that? Muffin Girl says lose a little weight. We can all support that, you know? Trying to, trying to you know, get healthy, get fit. It, it, it feels good. It, it, you know, you, you feel, you know, you, you start looking good. You feel, you feel, you know, you're getting out there. You know, you're feel a little, a little bit of these. A little bit of these, you know? Getting a little bit of this, you know? Great, fantastic. New Year's resolution is to make it to 2024. Hey, that's fantastic. That's good to hear. That's great to hear. Thank you. Thank you really, really appreciate that. Mine is to be better than Leg. I don't know who this Leg guy is. I'm, it's Legita. I, I, I'm not affiliated. Not affiliated with Leg. Uh, we'll be reporting on that later. So uh, we'll, we'll get into the news soon. I just want to report a little, like, just go get a little bit further on, on the reports on the New Year's resolution. And then we're going to roll into uh, to some big stories coming up. Okay, my New Year's resolution uh, is getting one year older. Hey, that's something. That is, that is, that is definitely something. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we have in here? In 2023, I will put a bomb in It's Legitus Mailbox. Did I, did I just get threatened on live television? Is this a threat? Hold on. Let me, let me check underneath the table really quick. I don't, I don't, please, can we check this, can we check the studio? Can we scan, scan the studio? There's just been a really interesting chat in the, can we, can we please, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna take a small break. We're gonna take a small break. Uh, and we're, we'll be, we'll be right back. Just gonna do a, a little, a quick check. Beeping? Oh, 
Is that beeping? Bring it out, outside, outside, everyone outside. Okay, all right. It's it's been assessed. It's been it, it, uh, the, the bomb threat has been assessed. Uh, we did we did find a a small uh, lethal pipe bomb, but we have we have a team moving in now. We expected this. We expected this. So we already had a team on standby. Uh, they have taken it to a a remote location outside. They they think that it's not a big enough explosion to cause mass mass harm, but uh, only small harm. Uh, in reality, it probably would have only filleted my back a little bit and and maybe a, another coworker or two but it's outside they've got full gear on and and, and it's maintained thank you so uh Latvian, we'll be having uh, a police sent to your house uh soon so expect those anyway um let's go forward you guys want you guys want some news you guys want a, a report i've got i've got a i've got actually got some really really dense stuff uh that's that's been happening oh that's happened over the past week and i've got I've got I've got something really big uh, about prior prior medication that was distributed uh, via via online uh, something about the the Dunitzero product I have I have a little bit of that so we have a lot we have a lot to report on should we should we get into it like remember to announce the new emote oh yeah we have we have a new emote so whenever you say Lamau you you now have a cat that that rotates and does a, a funny little spin over over. Over, um, let me just, I'm, I'm a slide. All right, <laughs> over, uh, oh, um. Yeah. Oh, my body, where is it? Yeah, this is a weird thing. Here it is, right there. Um, right there, yes. So, okay, did I finally propose to Elena? Not yet. That's not going to be on this, this broadcast, but it's eventually. Eventually, I'll, I'll, I'll get there. All right, let's, let's go through the news. All right, shall we? Let's take a look. So, it looks like... And this is this is this is what I've got. So apparently, there's a story of a man named Dave Anderson who invented a brand new hit dance. Hit, I mean, it's hit. It's it's here. It's now. It's 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 crawling all over TikTok. I mean, it, I mean, it's like there's crawlers, just like spiders of how of how hot this dance is right now. It's called the hustle and bustle, and uh, we we have a video of Dave that Dave, uh, Dave sent in from us for us. To, to play here so if you guys want to see this this new hot dance maybe you could hit it at home you know get a little you know do a little hustle and bustle myself i've been trying to reenact the hustle and bustle ever since i saw it but it is a it is hot it is now it is fresh and i'm going to show you guys that new dance so try try not to dance at home it's going to be hard it, it, it is it is is quite the i mean it's tangy i mean it's there so let's let's take a look shall we all right let's see what we got the hustle and bustle Hi, I'm uh, I'm Dave Anderson, and this is the dance that I call the uh, the hustle and bustle. All right, all right, here we go. Wow. Doesn't that just make you want to get up and and shimmy a little bit? Wow. Okay, that was uh, that was the hustle and bustle. Uh, I'm I'm Dave Anderson. Wow. Okay. Thank you so. Wow, that was amazing. I mean, doesn't that just make you want to hop off your seat and dance a little bit? Doesn't it? Wow. Jeez! Wow, that was that was just fresh. I mean, I can see I can see why it's why it's caught on so well. Why you know why it's out there? Why it's it's hit and it's fresh? You know that was that was crazy. Uh, wow. This guy, this guy, this guy. Am I right? Good gracious, that guy. Anyway, um, can we see it again? Absolutely, sure. Yeah. If you guys, I mean, you know, live in front of a live chat, we we can we kind of have a little bit more free form news broadcasting here. Let's take another look. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Dave Anderson, and this is the dance that I call the uh, the hustle and bustle. All right, all right, here we go. Wow. Oh man, trying uh, trying not to dance challenge. That's that's something you definitely do at home with the family. Okay, that was uh, that was the hustle and bustle. Uh, I'm I'm Dave Anderson. Thank you, Dave. Wow. I mean, that's just wow. Don't you just want to get up and I I can't quite I can't quite do it like him. I I, I don't I don't have the arm movement yet i just i just don't have it but when t when i get it I, I will happily do it so what's moving forward moving forward dave dave dwindle's long lost cousin oh the ghost the ghost we, we reported on that a long time ago you definitely remember that um well yeah i forgot this just in there is no sound alerts or text-to-speech for this stream uh, as it would interrupt the broadcast 
and and we're trying to keep things fresh and, and simple. The, the the sound alerts and text to speech will be back tomorrow, so d- don't fret. It's just it's just gone temporarily, disabled temportarily. Anyway, uh, you guys want to let's report let's report on more news. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got a report on five gallons of honey mustard poured on a local musician. Five gallons of honey mustard poured on a local musician. Uh, apparently, he was just standing, playing a, a, an acoustic guitar, enjoying himself, and then someone ran down the street with five gallons of honey mustard and proceeded to dump the entire thing, all of it, all over the musician. It got all over him, uh, soaked his guitar, ruined his guitar, and uh, ruined his entire day. And we have one bystander witness. Uh, we were not able to record because there was so much honey mustard that uh, being being slung after the fact by by random savage kids who came in and started eating handfuls of it and slinging it about that uh, our cameras were completely ruined. But we did get an audio recording of a bystander uh, who who experienced the the honey mustering or people what are people are calling the honey mustard incident. Let's let's roll that, shall we? Yeah, so I mean, this guy, this guy, he's playing a guitar, right? He's just, he's just playing the guitar, you know, strumming like, you know, bam, and bam, and bam, and then, and then this guy comes up and he just starts dumping honey mustard on him. I'm talking like, there was gallons of that stuff. I mean, he just keeps dumping and dumping and like, this guy's trying to play guitar, man. And the honey mustard is going down the strings. It's in his hair. Like it's, it's everywhere. Like it's already seeped into the, co- there was so much honey mustard. I was like, you know, am I, am, am, am I actually alive to witness this? Like, you know how some people, they realized they were, they were alive to, you know, witness, like, the creation of Five Nights at Freddy's? You know, like, this, this is monumental. Like, I got to watch a man take five gallons. Is that, is that how much you told me it was? It looked like five gallons. Yeah, okay, right. So, they took five gallons of honey mustard while he's playing the guitar. Like, what did he do to deserve that? I mean, he was trying to just, he was just trying to rock out, you know, have a good time. Make a little, little, little money on the side, you know, some, some people, you know, make people, give people a good time. And they're just, he's just covered in honey mustard. Like, I don't even, I don't even know. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. All righty. Well, that's, that's that. That is crazy. Can, can you believe that? Five whole gallons of honey mustard dumped, dumped on a, on a man just trying to play some music. What did he do to deserve that? Chat, what do, what do we think about that? What is, what does the live chat audience think about five gallons? I mean, what could you possibly do? What do you think? What do you think he was playing? What song did, did was he playing in order to deserve five gallons of of just a condiment dumped on him? I mean, I just don't think anyone truly deserves something like that. But it, it's just the world we live in. Things like this it happens all the time. Could be you know, like example, barbecue could be barbecue sauce. Could be could be ketchup. You never know. If you say ketchup, um, we we will send police to your house as well. But it's just you know. I, I just don't understand how how someone could possibly deserve something as rancid as that. I think he deserves it. I, I don't I don't know why he would though. Why would he do that? Probably the feet clip remix. There, I, that better not be a thing. Um, I just I just don't understand. I just no man should deserves that much honey mustard dumped onto his his you know his whole head and body. His his guitar was ruined. All honey mustard. I mean, what what can you do? Wonderwall. He was playing Wonderwall. Do you think that's deserve? Yeah, it's fair. Fair. He's playing badly. That that's that's also an option. I mean, you know, when you when you're playing poorly, you don't have a like good, you know, good rhythm. Good. Uh, I don't know much about music. Good good musical. You know, <coughs> stuff. You're just not gonna. You're just not gonna get. You're just gonna get honey mustard. So be aware that when you're outside and you're trying to play, if you're trying to make money on the street, trying to make money anywhere, doing a live you know live band, just be aware that there are people out there who have honey mustard in large quantities, and that. You are not safe. So make sure to protect yourself. Find something that maybe maybe get a large raincoat or, or, or other thing that could otherwise deter any sort of condiment that somebody can bring over to you. Just be aware of that and, uh, and, and stay safe. Being aware is being safe. So anyway, uh, chat, how... Has everyone's Christmas has been? I'd like to report on that really quick. Have a little have a little wholesome moment. Maybe we can maybe I can I pull up a little Christmas music. Maybe not. Um uh, this is probably copyrighted, but how was everyone's Christmas? Let's report on that. What what's some gifts that you guys got for Christmas? We want to see what the local community has. We want to see what everybody's been getting, uh, what you received, what you didn't receive. Uh, you know, just get the scoop. What's what's the population of this chat? What what did we receive? What amazing things did we have this Christmas? He was a League of Legends player? That's fair. If you if you're a League of Legends player, you deserve to be dumped many, many a thing on you. 
whatever condiment it may be. I hope the condiment burns. I hope it's hot sauce. Uh, but yeah, that's that's fair. Anyway, it was a war criminal. I got a knife. I got a kitchen aid stand mixer. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, you're gonna do a lot with that, I'm sure. I got a knife. Wow. What are you gonna do with it? Laffian? What's what's that knife good? What are you gonna do with that knife? What are you gonna do? I got money and bed sheets. Is there a reason that you received bed sheets? Did somebody pee pee the bed? Did you stink up your sheets? Is your sheets stinky? Are you a nasty little human? Yuck. Yikes. Anyway, uh, congrats on the money, though. The FNAF Cert Security Breach Collector's Edition. Didn't even know that existed, but I got it. That's fantastic. I hope you enjoy that thoroughly, Dan. Congratulations. I asked for a will to live, but we couldn't afford that in this economy. I have a couple in stock. I'll get them to you. I'll get them to you. Because I love you. Uh, I got slap chop. Congratulations. Uh, what are you, what are you, what's, the, what's the first item? What's the first item you're going to slap chop? The slap chop is a wonderful product. 100 doubloons by 30 people. So 3,000 doubloons. Speaking of doubloons, we're going to go forward on that. Like also, uh, a lot of extra, extra large size garbage bags. That is definitely a gift. That is a, certainly a gift to receive this year. Good for you. Glad, glad you got it. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna moving, moving forward, moving past this. Uh, it's good to see so many of you received what you wanted on Christmas. Uh, I, nothing like thankfulness and and Christmas joy and Christmas spirit. But speaking of doubloons, we all know that the, the doubloons were a hit. You know, Generation Z. You know, pow. You know, it was it was fun. It's it's a it's a fun little role play thing going on on the TikTok and many other social medias where cats will extend their paws. And in order to create doubloons in which the currency was spread out. And this just in, get this, a local adult, local adult, uh, who has a very, a very cute cat named Wyatt, uh, actually asked the cat for doubloons. And of course, she gave him a little more than he expected. So we're going to go take a look at that. Go take a look at this, it's this funny, enjoyable little doubloon story. And uh, that, that we're just gonna we're just gonna enjoy that a little a little little joy for your day a little bit of humor you know news oftentimes has a lot of out of negative disgustingness in it all the bad things that's happening in the world but today we're gonna take a look at some at some goofy little doubloons all right so here we go let's take a look. There she is. Wow, those those are doubloons. Let me see them. Oh wow! It seems that the video is bug is bugging out a little bit. It seems there's a there's a little bit of bug in the video. I'm I'm currently I'm currently uh, adjusting the video. There seems to be it seems to be some issue with the video with audio. We're gonna fix that really quick. Let me see them doubloons. The you ask and you shall you receive. Got? Look at them, handed to them on a silver nice. platter. Look at those doubloons. Wow, that is wonderful. It's it's always good to see a a, a local chubby cat showing off some some good beans. We love we love to see that. Don't we? Don't we, guys? Come on. Any agreeers? Any any truers? Who loves to see some beans? Who loves to see some 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 healthy doubloons? Am I right? <laughs> right, right. Of course, <clears throat> you're only allowed to give a hundred doubloons at a time. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard of that. I heard that. Anyway. Oh, uh, so that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Um, I think it's about time for an ad break. I think we've I think we've gotten to the point where we can we can run out we can run two ads. So uh, we're gonna take a small break and take a look at some of the some of the local ads and just uh, you know you know we gotta make money so that you guys can you guys can enjoy uh, featured content. So we're we're gonna run this ad and then uh, we're gonna be right back. Okay. All right. So let's 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 swap over to that. All righty.
Attention, if you or a loved one have taken or used the daily injectable medicine Dunitserol, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Repeat, if you or a loved one have taken or used the daily injectable medicine Dunitserol, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Dunitserol has been linked to early onset tumors in the forearms, as well as being linked to dying before the age of 30. Dunitserol may have put you at risk. To receive information and compensation, call 1-800-DUNITSEROL. Repeat. To receive information and compensation, call 1-800-DO-NOT-SEROL. No, but seriously, I, I would really appreciate that. Please subscribe. I only have like two more seconds of ad time. Please, please subscribe to me. I would And we're back. Um, hello, we're back. Uh, as you guys saw, uh, one of the ads. This is this is a hit story. Dunitzerol taking a a large hit. Uh, it was a, it was a popular injectable product to to create essentially sleeplessness. Now, Dunitzerol was being used to help uh, maintain productivity, keep yourself going, keep yourself awake for longer, and and was deemed safe by by organizations that were made up by the person creating Dunitzerol. So we, we have a, a hit story on Dunitzerol now and the man behind Dunitzerol and, and, and why Dunitzerol has become a, a large problem as well as, as the man who have made it is actually wanted locally. Uh, the authorities are asking if anyone has seen the man. So we're going to take a look at that right now. So the alias online for this man is, is Leg. He's wanted for selling and distributing dangerous sleeplessness drug, the drug known as Dunitzerol. Uh, local authorities are asking that if you see him, you hear about his, his whereabouts, that you please do call local authorities and let them know where you saw them so that they can go apprehend him. Uh, it, it, this, is, this, is, this is scary times for us as, as we feel like we can trust the products on our shelves and our, our local pharmacies. But it's, it's not necessarily the case. It's not necessarily the case. So if you got, anyone sees... The man who made Dunitzerol or, or, or any of the forms of the advertisements. One more time, here's the drawing for him. If you see him, uh, please report him to your local authorities. Uh, he is wanted. Uh, very, very, very large. There's a very a large bounty out for him. I mean, bounties are a little old style, but there is, he's, he's, uh, he's a bad, bad man. Okay, bad, bad man. So if you see him, please let us know, and uh, we will do the best that we can. All right, so. Um, right. You know, in a way, he kind of looks like me. In a way, like when you see him, you kind of think, oh, wow, he kind of looks like the news broadcaster, but it's not, it's not actually me. Like I, a lot of people said I look like him. It's a, it's a terrible thing. You know, it's, it's, it's terrible to have a, be a twin with someone else that you, that you run into. So it's, it's just, it's just hard. Uh, we, we've been, we've been displaying him behind on the screen, uh, for everyone to see, uh, just so that, just so that everyone can get a, a very good look at him. We do have an actual picture that, that sketch was of this picture. We were able to receive this later. Uh, so it was a little, you know, a little bit, you know, the, our third party to our second party uh, of, of information gatherers and, and reporters who have been getting this information for us. So to when you guys are family, no, no, no relation. Uh, see, I, I don't look like him. You know, I, I have I have facial hair. My hair is a little different. I, I dress very differently. Our body structure is, is different. We just we just look very similar is what I've been told. But if you do see him, please contact local authorities as Dunitzerol is. And also, if you find any form of Dunitzerol, please throw it away. Uh, remove it safely from your home. Dunitzerol is a is a horrible horrible product as as you can cause f uh, tumors in the forearms. So if you're seeing yourself if you've used Dunitzerol and have large large and large forearms and nowhere else, it's possible you should go seek out the doctor. And uh, you you really should see the doctor anyway to try to get on on some on some new medication as you may die before the age of thirty. Uh, so just you know stay aware, stay aware there, stay aware. You know think about things. Keep your awareness is power. Awareness is power. So all right, moving forward. Uh, I think I think we should take a look at uh, at the weather, shall we? Shall we take a look at um, what's what's going on? You know, in the air, maybe take a little a little look, see how that see how all that stuff's rolling out, see how we're feeling. Uh, we have our our live news weather reporter, Jell, uh, with us today. Uh, he's he's on the back burner. We're gonna have him in shortly to come take a look at the weather. So we're just gonna we're gonna hold for a little bit. But is anyone here in the live chat? taken or had a loved one use the Dunitzerol as a product? Has anyone used it? Has, has anyone had any form of, of uh, has, has there been any form of usage of Dunitzerol or product? 
or have have someone that has it or have it possibly in your home i use it i have i have wow lots here of used units roll now you all are under risk so i i do ask that you go see the doctor uh it's a great thing that it didn't make it outside the country if it was going to make it through you know through flights and and different distributions and getting to harbors that would be a bit of a bad thing so it's a good thing it stayed in america so if you've used it you have you really should go take a look i heard one of the best things you can do is to soak in a potato soup bath now this is this is just what i've heard uh from doctors thus far and from what the information that i've gathered but if you soak in a bath full of, of potato soup they say that it'll release some of the toxins uh, from the tumors in your forearms because those tumors in your forearms are not cancerous uh, there's something different, something that only Dunitzro can, can create. It's a, it's a man-made it's a man-made tumor, unlike a cancer cell which which mutates and expands. It's it's different. It's it's bigger and it's worse because we don't we don't have all the information on it. So I heard that potato soup does release things through the skin in your forearms and can actually reduce the size of the tumor. So if you have potato soup or have any made from for Christmas, please do fill a bathtub. And hop on in it's gonna it's gonna help release some of that pain if you're feeling a lot of pain and swelling especially right here that's it's gonna it's gonna help release that and it's it's a great home remedy to to keep you uh, keep you on the on the uphill so when will the ads stop playing we're probably gonna run ads about you know one more time two more times but anyway should we get to the weather is everyone want to see the forecast for this week uh see what you know what's what streams and broadcasts we have coming up as well as the weather are we all looking forward to that let's let's see the let's see the live chat audience what we think about that we all looking forward to the weather we got any predictions for the weather? Snowy, icy, sun, rain, cloudy. What do we think? No, not really. I mean, I, I'm here to I'm here to do my job, so I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing the weather. So that's that's just that. All right, maybe snowstorm, maybe rainy, blizzard. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at all of the activities we're gonna be doing throughout the week, and just take a look at what's what's to come up, and especially through the new year. So let's uh. Let's take a look at the weather, shall we? All right. Uh, let's. Let's. Oh. Just. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, one moment. We're, we're getting we're getting our weather guy. Uh, one moment, Jell's not in yet. He's he's coming in though. He's on his way. Okay. Uh, hey, it's me, Jell. Here with the weather uh, for this week, the seven-day forecast, and we're gonna we're gonna be taking a look at uh, at everything going on this week and into the new year. So uh, as you guys know, today, tomorrow is Friday. I don't have the weather for today. So whatever's outside, go out there, rub your hands around a little bit, feel it out because that's that's the weather. Uh, it's me, Jell. Okay, well, we're gonna take a look. So Friday, that's tomorrow, right here. Tomorrow, Friday, that's that's gonna be, that's gonna be pretty snowy, pretty cold, you know, ooh, burr, you know what I mean? Like, you know, put on those, Fuzzy warm socks because you're gonna you're gonna need those, uh, you're gonna need those tomorrow. That'll be nice because you'll be like, wow, I'm warm. Uh, so stay inside. Don't get too cold if you gotta work out in the cold. Too bad, so sad. Boo hoo. Skill issue. Uh, so yeah, we've got we've got that. We got snow. And on Friday we're gonna have a little bit of gaming. So you know, broadcast tomorrow. It's gonna be a little bit of gaming, a little bit of playing the games. You know, enjoying each other. You're know, talking, gaming. We'll see we'll see what goes on. And then Saturday, Saturday. <laughs> my mustache <laughs> it's tickling me sorry it's just i'm it's very it my mustache is so well kept that it tickles me anyway uh saturday it's gonna be uh we're gonna we're gonna leave that snow we're gonna be we're gonna be, have that, that hot front come in hot front is that an, is that a thing hot front like like this cold hot is hot front a thing hot wave heat wave we're gonna have a heat wave come in we're gonna we're gonna lose all that snow we're gonna go from about 30 to about 65 warm front we're gonna have a warm front come in we're gonna be about 65 and we're gonna do some more gaming on well actually i don't actually know saturdays saturdays may be gaming possibly gaming uh i'm being t I'm, uh, I'm getting i'm getting reports that uh it's it's a new thing to hit the gritty 
while while forecasting. So we're we're gonna do that really quick. Okay. So all right. So let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at the uh, at the next part of the news. So on uh, on. On Sunday, on Sunday, we're going to be collecting. It's a, it's going to be a little cold out. Well, the sun's going to be sitting behind a, a little bit of flurries, but it's a great day to get out there and gather. Let's gather, guys. Come on, get out there, find some stuff. You know, oh look, you know somebody's purse. You know what I mean? We're gonna we're gonna. Ooh, look, uh, this person's asleep. We're gonna pick him up and we're gonna take him to our house. It's a good day for collecting. You know, like see a random cup in the store. Let's collect. Let's 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 find. Let's find people's wallets. Let's collect them. Let's collect things. Mostly bodies. Let's let's collect things. Let's go to the morgue. Sunday, great day out. It's going to be like a, a rough 55, 56 outside with the flurries making it just crisp. Great day for collecting. So let's, let's take a look. Monday. Monday, we have <coughs> skinning. Great day for skinning. Uh, we're not going to have broadcasts on, you know, sun, uh, pro pro probably Saturday, Sunday, Monday. But Monday's a great day day for skinning you know you can get out there you know you can find find a a corpse and skin it Monday's a great day great great day out there you know get outside uh, go have a good time get all those things you collected on Sunday so you can work them up on Monday uh, Sunday's also a good day for hunting hunting and collecting go hand in hand so Monday's gonna be great for skinning. Gonna be a rough 58, and then uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna move forward from there. So we've got we've got we've got Tuesday. We got Tuesday. Tuesday we're getting a little bit of rain clouds. We're getting a little bit of rain clouds on Monday. Not quite rain and thunder, but on on Tuesday those clouds are gonna take a whole day to process. It's a rare occurrence known as clouding. Rare, rare occurrence known as clouding, and we're gonna have we're gonna have Tuesday's gonna be a great day for pondering. Great day to sit in a chair and think, hmm, should I have done what I've done? Was that okay? Should I have done that? You know? We, that's it's a, a great day for pondering. So Tuesday, get out there, maybe stay at home, uh, ponder a little bit, uh, think about what you've done. Monday and Sunday are definitely gonna be a lot to handle. So it's gonna be a busy weekend this weekend. So it's gonna be a rough sixty. Tuesday, rough 60. Probably 60. I don't know. Go, out, go freaking outside on Tuesday. Tell yourself what, what temperature is. You really need me to tell you? I don't care. Maybe bring an umbrella. Is that what you want to know? Sorry. Okay. Drink, bring an umbrella. Have a have a have have one of those. Uh, all right. Moving forward, we got, uh, we got Wednesday. Wednesday, we have regret. We're going to regret things on Wednesday. We're going to have lots and lots of regret. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna regret a lot. We're gonna think, wow, we we shouldn't have done that. Um, just should not have been out there. You know, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Probably should have stayed home. Shouldn't have listened to the forecast. Probably we're gonna have lots of regret on Wednesday. Lots of people out there thinking, man, I hate. I I don't know what's wrong with me. Why did I do that? Uh, so regret, we're going to have, we're going to have a little bit of a, we're going to have a little bit of rain. The sun's going to start to fade away. The racers are start coming in. It's going to be real dark clouds. Uh, could be on tornado watch. And we're also going to have a little bit of the void seeping in. Yeah. You guys all know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Uh, by the way, you guys are asking, uh, we have, we have a, a guest. We have a guest in the house. Everybody start clapping. Everybody say hello to our, our special guest. This, 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 the, uh, this cat, special guest, just showed up. I don't, I don't know. She's here though. Why don't, why don't you talk about Thursday? Why don't you, why don't you look at Thursday? Here, you take a look at Thursday. What do you think about, oh, 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 wow, you're jumping into Thursday. Wow. Why is ready to get into Thursday? We're ready to jump on it, right? Jump on Thursday. After we're done regretting on Wednesday, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it to Thursday. 
And uh <laughs> the Thursday's gonna um <laughs> <laughs> Thursday's Thursday's gonna be a, a, a so <clears throat> that's gonna be our seven day weather forecast for for this week. So I hope you guys are all looking forward to uh, to everything coming up. Uh, the New Year's are gonna be are gonna be joining us on Sunday. Today's 29th, 30th, 31st. Sunday is going to be the new year, so when you're collecting up for the new year, getting ready for everything, just know that it, it is, it is you are starting your new year's, re new year's resolutions, and you should keep those in mind, because things, things are going to be, it's going to be great. So, uh, back to you. Back to you. Uh, 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 it's, it's Legina News broadcaster. Definitely not another guy that we've seen. Uh, back, back to, back, back to you. Oh. All right. <clears throat> um. Hello. We're back, and we are we are back. We're back with with news. <clears throat> Thank you, Gel. Thank you uh, for for that. That was um. Was that was I it was amazing. That was wonderful. Yeah. <sighs> okay. That's. All right, what's what's going on? Ah, uh, ah, ah. Okay, all right. Woo. All right, I'm, I'm good. We're good. Okay, thank you, Gel. My uh, no, there's no microphone. Microphone's out of camera view. Um, thank you, Gel, for for that weather report. Can we all say thank you to Gel for always working so hard for us in this in this uh, cold and warm time? I'll have to say for myself, I'm really not looking forward to uh. To, to the regret coming up on uh, on Wednesday. Really, really not looking forward to it. I normally don't look forward to the regret on Wednesday, so uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. So, yeah. Anyway, Gel needs to rethink his life choices for sure. For sure. Uh, yes, Gel. Gel does, and Gel's with a G, by the way. Uh, it's it's a little weird. I know, but Gel is with a G. So, anyway, unfortunately, there's an empty void. Nothing will fix it except. <laughs> Is Thursday the end of the world? That's for you to decide, Muffin Girl eight nine ten. That's for you to decide. Is the I mean we have talked about the end of the world back in twenty twelve. Uh, the end of the world was was very very big. We were thinking that the world was going to end. The Mayan ca calendar ended in twenty twelve, which we thought, hey, this is it. It's time for us to go. But in fact, we did not go. So is Thursday the end of the world? That's that's the big question we're all asking. And who's to say? Because twenty twelve already happened. The Mayan calendar already ended. So after a day filled with regret on Wednesday, Thursday, you never know. So I would say it's a good 50-50. Don't dwell on it too much and just go forward in your week, I think. I think that would be that would be the best play. So, um, all right. I definitely have a lot more news. I, I definitely do. We're going to run another ad break. Um, this, we we're trying to keep uh, viewers as aware as possible about the about the Dunitzerol thing going on. So we're, we're going to run another ad break, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Okay. All right, but bye bye now. All right. Uh, subscribe. Yeah. Please. No, but seriously, I, I would really appreciate that. Please subscribe. I only have like two more seconds of ad time. Please, please subscribe to me. I would.
Attention, if you or a loved one have taken or used the daily injectable medicine Dunitzerol, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Repeat, if you or a loved one have taken or used the daily injectable medicine Dunitzerol, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Dunitzerol has been linked to early onset tumors in the forearms, as well as being linked to dying before the age of 30. Dunitzerol may have put you at risk. To receive information and compensation, call 1-800-DUNITZERAL. Repeat. To receive information and compensation, call 1-800-DO-NOT-SROLL. All right, um, we're back. I definitely have more news. I have I have lots of news. Much. Mucho news. There's there's um I have I have a lot. I <laughs> I I have lots of lot I he doesn't have more news. This is not don't don't assume that. Don't assume don't, don't assume that. That's not a nice thing to assume. I have lots of news co incoming and inbound. It's it's uh, it's it's co it's coming in by by the minute. Um, there's there's lots of it. I've I've got I've got lots of of new news. The news is not over. <clears throat> um. The next topic story is on, um, <clears throat> uh, drop in giant bow sales over the holiday period fuels recession fears. This is the car scoop. Um, if you think being gifted a brand new car with a comically sized bow on top is confined to the fiction of movies and TV, then you'd be wrong. As it turns out, giant bows are big business, uh, with one company even going so far as to develop an alternative solution uh, mount to avoid damaging the paint. Magnet scratch, don't you know? So yeah, don't put magnets on your car. Um... So, you know, big bows on cars uh, are, are the sales are down for like 35%. So don't, don't, don't get, oh, crap. Oh. Don't, you know when, you, okay, let me explain it. So there's a big, it's like a car, right? There's like a big car and then someone wraps it up with a bow. Don't, don't buy those. They're, they're, the sales are down. Actually, I don't even know what the story is. They have, there's something to do with, oh, wait. Oh, see it? The big. The big bow in a car? Yeah, don't... Those. There's news about those. Think about it. Put your brain around it. Are you thinking? Yeah. All right, hey, on, to, on to the... Um, the daily joke in the chat. We have, we have the daily joke. Let's read. A, a pair of cows were talking in the field. One says, have you heard about the mad cow disease that's going around? Yeah, the other cow says. Makes me glad I'm a penguin. Um. Um, I have more news. Swear on it. I, um,
Um, oh, uh, great question. Great question. More news. When is the release day coming for the Leggies 2? The second ceremony, the second ever ceremony of the Leggies, that's going to probably come around next November or next December. That's going to be, we're going to roll around and we're going to take a big look at those. So those are going to be our, our yearly review. Oh, okay. In coming news, uh, there probably will be a best of 2022. Um, it's legit a video on YouTube. That's something that we could have soon, probably if I if I get to work on it. So that's that's uh, new and fresh. And now uh, maybe maybe coming up, there will even be actual speed runs on Minecraft with an actual timer. Possibly could actually start trying. That's a thing. What is Leg Games Season Two coming out? Um. Uh, That could be a thing soon. Less itchy. Uh, that could be a thing. When, uh, like that, that could, yeah, the light game season two could be a could be a thing next year. Uh, there's, it's not confirmed yet, but it's very, very highly, very highly possible to. Uh, ah, why is it so itchy? Who makes these things? That just looks like a band aid. Hey, scoot over. Is that? How did I put that on so well the first time? Oh. It just, it just, it just doesn't, it just doesn't. It makes me, it makes me want to, it makes me want to sneeze. I don't like it. Anyway, this is not a fake mustache. So, um, uh, it's in my nose. I don't like this. Okay, anyway. Yeah, this is it. This is all I had. I, I can't lie to you guys. Um, <clears throat> yesterday, uh, yesterday, I had an idea to do a news broadcast. And about 4 o'clock, 3, no, 3 o'clock in the afternoon... I, that was the when I had the idea, and I started just producing it. So I made all of this. Everything you're seeing here was made in about six hours. And I bought mustaches today. I mean, no, no, I, this is very real, very real. Um, it's good to be back, guys. This is, uh, it's, it's good to be back. And I wanted to wanted to bring bring everything back in, say hello, give you guys some news stories, some information, uh, and then I'm impressed you grew such a luscious mustache overnight. I know, right? Isn't it nice? Uh, I have different ones I can grow whenever I feel like growing them. Watch this. Watch, watch. I'm actually they call me the best mustache grower of all time. Try not to try not to freak out. Try not to freak out. Please all. Wait, uh oh. What do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about, uh, <coughs> what do you think about this? Huh? Am I right? That's just the power of being one of the best news reporters on earth. Roll the music. Ah. Ah. It's in my mouth. It's all of all of it's coming off. Ah, okay. So that's that's that, yeah. So, uh, does anyone else have any breaking news that I can report on? Ah. Uh.
Is this it? I, I have nothing else. Um. It's legit. What is your opinion on Nintendo hating Waluigi? I think that's absurd and disgusting. I've always wanted him uh, as mainstream content, but we, we're, we're denied it. Bingo event release date? I'm going to need a lot of money for that. So if, if we go big this year, if we go big, you know, things, we, 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 we go big, big, you know, big time, uh, then yeah, bingo event for this year if we go big. So, you know, we, we average a lot more mirrors and make some good money. Um, yeah, bingo event this year. So yeah, all right, well, back to, we're going to have regular, regularly scheduled Twitch content coming up uh, back in this new year. So yeah, look forward to tomorrow's regular content scheduling. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this, this news broadcast. Um, and uh, yeah. It's me. I, I made Dunitzer all. I did it. <laughs> I made it. I put those tumors in your forearms. I wanted to watch the world burn. I. <laughs> you're you're going to die. You're not even going to make it to the age of 30. You're not even going to know what it's like. Your parents aren't going to get the experience of, of, of getting to leave before their kids. You're going to die before your parents. You're going to die at the age of 30. It was me. I did it. Me. You want to see him? That's me. It's me. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, this has been It's Legita News. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, it has been it has been an absolute pleasure, and uh, and we're gonna have regularly scheduled content coming back normally tomorrow and, and from from here here on out. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, good luck with the forearm thing, and um, gonna be playing gonna be playing gonna be big gaming and, and going forward doing more doing more things like this. Uh, so yeah, thank you for being here. Appreciate it, and I, I will see I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Thanks for thanks for the support for as long as I've been going. I'm sorry that I constantly have to do these things to you. You don't deserve it. Now let's 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 take a quick look at that new TikTok dance and then we're we're gonna head out. Let's just let's just take one more look at the hustle and bustle and then I think we can go. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Dave Anderson and this is the dance that I call the uh, the hustle and bustle. All right, all right here we go. Okay, that was uh, that was Hustle and Bustle. Uh, I'm I'm Dave Anderson. Good night, everybody. Have a have a have a great night. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for for joining us today, and uh, we will see you on the next edition of of this. Goodbye, everybody. Take it easy. Oh sevens, much love. Uh, uh, leg loves in the chat. Uh, good luck with with your with your tumors. Bye bye now. This has been it's the news, and we will come back to you. Uh, uh, I'm sure another day. One day we'll come back. Goodbye everyone. Take it easy. <laughs>